Hello, I'm Charlotte Seams, Emerald Ambassador with Flexus Worldwide, and I'm here with Brenda Martin, Diamond Ambassador for some uh, team training, and we're calling it like a spark call to give you a spark of information and encouragement. You may have seen in the big um, Biz Ambassador Health Group today some things. We had a jewel call today, a company update, talking about exciting things and updates on what's going on. And I'll let you read that post. I'm not going to just read it all, but I just want to tell you a couple of things. One of those is that customer service is already in the new building that Plexus is building, and that's very exciting. They're up and running. They're already moved. And by the end of next week, like right after Christmas, they have a whole new class of customer service representatives who will be manning the phones, and that will double the number of representatives on the phone. So that's that's like hallelujah news that'll shorten the times on and it's already shortening I feel like it's getting better um, and, and then um, Alec Clark uh, closed the call and one thing I love that he said is they had had some meetings with the employees of Plexus and they there's an understanding among everyone that they work for us that the employees at Plexus Worldwide work for us as the ambassadors and they understand that and they are working around the clock to normalize systems, to do their best to get things running. And there, and Alex said there is not just light at the end of the tunnel, but there's sun at the end of the tunnel, that the sun is shining brightly. And all these um, you know, changes and things that have gone on with the back office, it was necessary. And it's just messy and there's nothing for it. But I will tell you that I am just so impressed. You know, I've spent a lot of time on waiting on hold for customer service. I have talked to customer service and I know Brenda has just many, many, many hours talking to customer service and I get off every call um, relieved and happy and, you know, pleased with the resolution. And so I am just so impressed with how Plexus has handled everything. And, and Alex said, everything truly is getting better, that we are close to getting back to where we can focus totally on building and growing and not, you know, dealing with as many customer service issues. And so speaking of building and growing, that is really our topic tonight. And that is about how to succeed on purpose, that we have to decide and, and succeed in our business on purpose. I'm going to give you a few things of things that can um, stop us from succeeding on purpose. And the first of those is procrastination. Procrastination is one of the most common ways that we resist growing our business, and usually that's out of fear. You know, we don't tell ourselves, I'm never going to build my Plexus business. No, we don't tell ourselves that. What we say is, I'm going to build my Plexus business tomorrow, <laughs> starting tomorrow, or after Christmas, you know, then it'll get better, or, you know, but after Christmas, it'll be after New Year's because that's when, you know, the holidays will be over and then it's well the kids go back to school later in January and then I'll start building my business do you see what happens we just push it farther and farther out and um, the scariest thing about procrastination is that it becomes a habit and we don't just put off our lives today we put them off until our deathbed the days become weeks and the weeks become months and then you look back and you wish you would have maybe have regrets. And so that's why it's so important to just, just do it and never forget that this very moment we can change our lives. This very second, you can get off of this call and sit down and do the work. You can get off of this call and pick up the phone or message people, follow up with customers or interested people. There are things you could do today, right now, to get started on building your business. Another thing that slows us down or stops us is excuses. And yes, I am totally aware that this is the holidays. <laughs> I am living it. Brenda is living it. I have 25 immediate family members to buy Christmas for when you count my children and their spouses and their children. And so totally get that it's the holidays, but I still work every day. Um, do you realize the more emotional energy that we spend talking about and searching for our excuses, the less energy we have to do our work? So instead of going on and on about why you can't, you could spend that time and that emotional energy doing the work. 
One last thing that you may not have thought of that can um, slow you down, stop you, is criticizing others. And that can be looking at others with jealousy or, well, they didn't have this to deal with, that kind of thing, comparing. If you find yourself criticizing other people, or if you're spending a lot of emotional energy criticizing the company, let's be honest, I've been hearing some of that. Spending that, you know, being negative and complaining about the company, about how long you had to hold on customer service. Like I said, Brenda and I have spent many hours on the phone this month, and we haven't complained to each other at all. We have no messages in our little messaging back and forth where we say, oh, can't believe it. There's been none of that. We're just doing what we need to do. But people who are in action, who are stepping out of their comfort zone, they're growing personally, and they're doing, not just learning and training, but actually doing the work, almost never criticize others. If they speak at all, it's to offer encouragement. So when we're not doing the personal growth, when we're not fulfilling who we are, being authentic and doing the work, then we, we, we almost get jealous of other people who are doing it and who have, you know, who are working hard. And so we, instead of doing the work, we're sitting around criticizing. So that's just something to be aware of for yourself. One last thing is don't look too hard or spend too much time getting support. Um, if you feel paralyzed, feel like, you know, well, if I had more support and you're constantly messaging people and in chats and groups getting support, that can actually weaken you and, and, and um, make you dependent on something, whereas actually you have strength in you to do the work and do your business. And so much of that is these things we tell ourselves. We tell ourselves we don't have time. We give ourselves excuses. And we need to flip that around. And I'll let Brenda talk about that some as far as how we talk to ourselves. But also, she's going to talk about courage and optimism in our business. So I did the, yeah. you know, I can only talk about this stuff because I've done it all. I hope you all know that. The only reason I can say these things and be straight about it is because I've had to deal with it myself and still do deal with it all the time. Exactly. Wow. I could just sit here and listen to you for another 10 minutes. That was just great. And I know everybody loved it and was soaking it in. And I hope they're all taking it to heart, guys, because she is so very right. You know, I've, I've heard uh, actual straight out stories from several different people in the last few weeks to just prove what she is saying on what you say to yourself. That is going to affect your business more than you realize. And so, you know, I was thinking about that. Um, why some people, it does seem some people struggle with that more. And we all have our reasons. Um, I could give you my life story right now with probably a thousand reasons where I could have hangups. Um, we all have those. And so, Cheryl and I know what we're talking about when we encourage you guys. We've had to deal with these things and work through them. So we're not saying we're not criticizing you. We're validating you that it's real, but it's something we all have to get over if we want to succeed in this business. And that's what we're here to encourage you for, because we know if we can, you can. And uh, this whole thing of, of what you say to yourself, I feel like one thing that helped me overcome so much of, I mean, ask my husband, I was so down on myself. I've been so hard on myself over the years. I've always wanted to excel in everything I did. And if I didn't, I would you know, beat myself up over it. And that was kind of the cycle I had found myself in until I learned to speak gratefulness, to turn tough situations into finding what there is to be grateful and to be thankful, you know, in everything give thanks. Uh, it's kind of a challenge at our house sometimes when people are complaining to find it something thankful, turn that around in everything give thanks. That means in every situation that you're facing. And so that was my personal thing that helped me so much to overcome. And then when I put out the video challenge uh, yesterday to watch the uh, Rock the Pink Live by Michelle and Tim Thomas speaking about the eight plexus virtues. I don't have those in front of me right now, but I know they they were on Team Fire. Uh, people posted them probably 30 times, so you can go there and read them. But 
glancing through the ones that people said stood out to them or that they know they need to work on, I found that optimism was pretty high on the list. And I found that really interesting because I understand it. I know what it's like to go, you know, trying so hard to, to make something happen and to excel at what you're doing. We're all going to have struggles. That is so real. But it's becoming that optimist that can overcome all of those uh, struggles is, is where the, the secret is. That's where the the magic happens is where you can learn to turn your thoughts and your words into positivity, into gratefulness, and uh, and speak the things to yourself that you want to see happen. You want to have a fast-growing team. You want to have happy customers. You want to have financial freedom. Then speak those things to yourself, and you'll be amazed. I think that's why we're instructed in Scripture to give thanks because it's just it's just how that works. Um, and that was the top on the list. I felt like I saw the most, uh, the virtue that people felt they needed to work on was courage. And that got me excited. because I love talking about being bold with this business. Guys, you have to remember this. Speak this to yourself every day. Everybody needs our products. Everybody needs them. I mean, there are some, there's going to be people that tell you oh, they don't need them or that there's something wrong with some ingredient and they can't take it, yada, yada. I have not found, with the exception of one friend who um, had a, a real stevia sensitivity, and that, that even if gradually got better for her, no one that can't take our products, if not, if they take it right and they want to and they want to learn from us the right ways. But everybody needs probiotics for the rest of their lives. Everyone needs blood sugar balance, and everyone needs, um, you know, help with their gut and digestion. So. That's my first thing that if you have that rock solid in your mind, everybody needs it. They need to hear it. That gives you courage. Same with the opportunity. Everyone needs a little income increase, especially with, you know, the average people that you talk to. Now, not everyone is going to want the business or have the desire to do it, and that's fine. But always remember, people at least need to hear. Have that courage that because they need it that will give you that courage everyone needs to at least know about it and to be given that chance and have that encouragement from you to try it so that's one thing i think that maybe gave me a lot of courage in the beginning i knew i had something amazing no one was going to shake my faith in what these products were and everyone needed them and then of course just learning to block objections because you won't get as many objections when you are confident and excited and passionate, then they're just going to be like, wow, you know, it's almost irresistible for them to try it when you are full of that confidence and that courage. Um, I, I didn't have the time today. We were traveling all day, spent all evening um, with my husband's brother, that, who's a builder, finalizing some of our house plans, which is super exciting. So I wanted to sit down and, and pull from some of my resources some good thoughts and wording on courage. I didn't get that done. So maybe I'll have to continue that some other time. I'm sure Charlotte could say have pull a lot of amazing things on the whole thing of courage. But because I saw that as a need in you guys, I want to um, maybe come up with some more things on our next call or some post that I'll do or something to help you um, find that courage because you really, really can feel confident to go out there and share with what we have in this company with our product. So that kind of comes to the end of what I had in mind. Charlotte, do you have something to add to that? Well, I was just going to say, I don't know if everybody realizes, but the fear never goes away completely. I mean, it, if you're waiting to where, okay, I'm 100% confident and I'm going to, you know, do this. We, we have to deal with stuff, whatever level you get to, there's something else, you know, that you have to overcome. It's never perfect. You just have to keep moving forward. And the thing is, when we, when we do work in spite of our fear and we do go ahead and message that person or, you know, do the thing that we fear, then we feel really good about ourselves and it makes us stronger. And um, then we overcome that and we go to another level in our personal development um, I think it was Eleanor Roosevelt who said, you must do the thing which you think you cannot do. And I love that because after we do it, we find that, yes, we could do it. And then it has so many rewards um, and it's just, it's a part of our growth. So that, so don't wait for the time when you feel like, you know, all systems go and you have no, 
you know, bit of fear because we're all overcoming and we do it anyway. <laughs> That's it's right, but you told me early in, early on when you would kind of get to the next step of something that seemed uh, out of your comfort level, you would often tell me if it feels a little scary and feels like it's out of my comfort level, uh, comfort zone, that I know it means something that I must do. I can't word it as well as you, but you know what I'm saying. It's so true. If you feel a lot of fear about something, that is a pretty good indicator that you're supposed to do it. Because, you know, if you, if you only feel completely 100%, oh, no problem, that means I would question whether you're supposed to do something if, you're, if you don't have some fear about it because you wouldn't be stretching and uh, becoming who you really are. There's going to be that fear there, and that's just a pretty good indicator you're supposed to do it if you have fear Love about it. it. Yeah. So anyway, okay, well, that's really what we have for you tonight. And we will not have a call next Thursday because that's Christmas Eve and the following Thursday is New Year's Eve. And so it will be the next Thursday and I don't have a calendar of January up. So it'll be, ah, my ear thing came out. Um, so well, it'll be Super Saturday is the ninth. So that would put it at the seventh, right? Yeah, right. So that'll, that'll be a good time. And you guys, if you have not registered for Super Saturday, um, it may be too late. Yeah. <laughs> it may be, and, and many locations are selling out because Plexus has grown so much since last year. And they're pretty much not going to be um, opening new locations or adding more. So if you haven't, you may have to travel, but definitely worth doing so. So go ahead and get I want to quick, I want to quick say, uh, I, I have seen a list of what, what spaces are available yet where. And St. Louis is one that has a lot of, of uh, open slots yet. They have a very big venue with plenty of room, and it's going to be Jen Hawkins and um, a young Emerald Emily Roberts is amazing. That's got a central location. I thought I would just mention that for people who are willing to drive a few hours. That's that's one that's open yet. Awesome. Okay. Okay. That's great. Okay. Is that what we have tonight? Yes. All right. Well, thanks for being here live, everybody, and we will see you in the groups.